King Solomon was probably one of the wisest king in the human history. People from the East and the West used to come to listen his wisdom. He wrote a few books. Some of his books are included in the Jewish scriptures. One of my favorite books in the Bible is the book of Ecclesiastes. How the weird book of Ecclesiastes can give us meaning in the 21st century. That is something briefly I am going to talk about it today. We talk about various theories, Big Bang theory, black hole and so on and so on. But we sometimes forget there is a mystery behind everything. And King Solomon in his book of Ecclesiastes helps us to understand the meaning of things. Education is a great thing, but in our Western culture, we have largely forgotten that education is supposed to be about the search for wisdom. Instead, it is has now become pretty much purchasing a degree, training for jobs and social engineering. People used to come to the teachers to learn to ask, to probe, to inquire, and to do some kind of wrestling with knowledge. Now, students come to teachers, not mainly to learn, but to tell. We live in a culture where there is a lot of information, but little understanding what the Bible calls wisdom. This lack of wisdom is what results in a deal of argument irrationally. Fake news, virtual signaling and ignorant prejudice. And this lack of wisdom is creating a lot of problems and suspicions. The life is not all about information. Solomon points his first observation. It is that human beings observe and what we observe in real life is not always pleasant. We always make plans, but it's not always the case that our plans will be fulfilled. Life is not only about planning. Life is more about living the life in this world in a way that you are able to become a source of happiness for yourself and others. The problem of life is for us, not just a hobby for philosophers. The quest of meaning is a quest for God. And it is something that God has placed in our heart. Look at how Paul addresses this desire and need in Athens in Acts chapter 17. One commentator says, the Creator has instilled in every human being the desire to know the answer to life's ultimate questions, a part of that which distinguishes humans from animals in the desire to know origin, destiny and purpose on this feast of epiphany. We are talking about the Magi who walked hundreds and thousands of miles to come to see the King of the Jews. They used their knowledge and turned their knowledge into wisdom. When our knowledge becomes wisdom, then we are able to move on. Then we leave our place. Then we go to the places which may be alien to us. Then we explore new things, not only to satisfy our heads, but to give a new meaning to our life. The Magi were wise men, not wise because they had knowledge and information. They could read the messages from the stars. They were wise because they had courage to turn their knowledge and information into wisdom. The wisdom that helped them to leave their places, to go and to see the King of the Jews who was going to be the saviour of the world. Wisdom is everywhere, waiting for us all. I would like to share something with you from this book called Bazao or Sindaraho. This book 
is written by Mr. Hani Frami, who was the chief minister of Punjab, the biggest province in Pakistan. He wasn't a Christian, but he quoted from the book of Proverbs, another book written by King Solomon. On the first page of this book he writes, Hikmat ne apna ghar bana liya. Usne apne saatu sutun tarash liye. Usne apne janbaron ko ziba kar liya aur apni mai tayyar kar li. Usne apna dastar khan bhi chun liya. Ab usne apni sahiliyon ko bheja hai. Aur khud bhi shahar ki unchi jagon se pukarti phir rahi hai. Jo saada dil hai, idhar a jaye. Jis se danish chahiye, idhar a jaye. Aao. मेरी रोटी में से खाओ और मेरी मिलाई हुई मैं में से पियो ऐ सादा दिलो बाजाओ और जिंदा रहो वट वी शुड बी डूइंग वी जस्ट नीड टू लुक टूवर्ड्स गॉड हु गिव्स अस विजडम द विजडम दैट वी नीड Wisdom that makes us distinct, species. Wisdom that we need to live a godly and happy life. Wisdom that can make this world a beautiful place.